The Diver is the best type of watch you can buy. Let's get into it! Yes! And welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. Today I'm going to give you 10 reasons why the Dive Watch is the best type of watch in 2024. Or any year for that matter. Now I've been collecting watches for quite some time now and I've always been gravitated to the Dive Watch. Watches that were built for extreme conditions, conditions that we'd never show it, to go depths that is beyond humanly possible. Not just the bathtub. A Dive Watch was created for going diving. However, in today's watch world, the dive watch means so much more. The best watch to park your money in, whether it's £100 or it's £10,000. And without further ado, let's get down to this, shall we? Are you a dive watch ready? Let's splash and go! Right, straight off the bat, legibility. My eyes, like yours, aren't getting any younger. A proper dive watch will have very bold markers coupled with a very bold handset. Now for actual divers, this is good because it means they're going to be able to see their watch. For us, it's brilliant because a good dive watch dial can be seen at least 10 meters away. A dress watch's dial, maybe two. Also with great power, with legibility, comes great responsibility in loom. I don't know about you, but I love a bit of loom on my watches. Loom was first created back in, I don't know, 1940s by Panerai to illuminate a watch's dial when it was underwater. Now yes, back then radium was used, which did a lot of damage to human bodies. Nowadays, the compounds that are used to illuminate our watches aren't harmful at all. Phew! But I wouldn't advise licking some of it. Next up, two words that go hand in hand, durable and reliable. Yes. We've got solid stainless steel cases, built for taking a prang or two on a bit of broken off coral, or straight onto a shark's tooth. These watches aren't meant to look pretty, they're meant to do a job. And the more scratches you got on your dive watch, the more living you've been doing, boy. I dropped a stapler on my watch in the office. That's good enough. When it comes to reliability, the movements that are used in these watches have shock treatment in them, protecting all those cogs and wheels for taking a good thud. Next up, watertight. The last thing you want to see when you're a diver and you're underwater is seeing the dial getting filled up with liquid. A proper diver should at least be water resistant to 200 meters of atmospheric pressure. We're not going to go down 200 meters worth of atmospheric pressure, but the watch can still take it. We want to know that the crystal won't pop off after 30 meters. We want to know that it's been tested to those atmospheric pressures so that when we are at Disney on Thunder Mountain, the watch is still going to be reliable. Next up is comfort. Most watches with a stainless steel bracelet will have at least micro adjustments. You also get divers extensions that go over wetsuits. And if you're lucky, you could get a clasp with an on the fly adjustment. You're more inclined to get that sort of clasp with dive watches than say dress or field watches. <laughs> Next up, versatility. Gone are the days when dive watches were only for diving. Sean Connery put a stop to that in the 60s. A dive watch with a stainless steel bracelet can look just as cool under a tuxedo than with a shirt and Bermuda shorts combo. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features of a dive watch, the bezel. Oh. Lovely. Built for giving the divers a countdown stopwatch, if you will, making sure they know how much oxygen they have left in the old tanks. A proper dive bezel will only rotate one way. This is a safety measure to not being able to knock it and to make the diver feel like he's got more time than he actually has. But yes, I'm not going to go diving. I'm not going to use this bezel for diving. But I do use it for time and other things. Wait till the saucepan is boiled, then three and a half minutes later, take it out quick, sharpish. To me, it's a great tool of the past. You know, these days it's very inferior as you can just use your phone for a stopwatch, but it's that little connection with the 50s and 60s, you know, back when a watch was a hugely important tool. Also, I love being hands on with my watches and to have a very good dive watch with a very good bezel. Oh, that's just perfect. And while we're on the operating subject, I don't know about you, but I love a big crown. And you always tend to get a big crown with a dive watch. <laughs> Next up, parking your money. You know that because a dive watch is durable, reliable, 
watertight. You can spend a bit of money on a diver and feel safe in the comfort that it's not going to break down soon. I'm a sporty guy. I get about a bit. I haven't got time in this world to check whether I've damaged my watch, banged it on something, scuffed it on something. I know that when I look at it and need it, it's going to be there like a good old friend and give you what you want. High horological watches with complications going up the wazoo? Nah, not for me. I'm rough and tumble. That's not a name, that's just me. I need a watch that survives my everyday life. And the dive watches are the best, baby. <laughs> Last but not least, what it stands for. To me, a dive watch is a symbol of adventure. Exploration. For man and woman to seek out new life forms and new civilizations. Star Trek. Geek. If I see someone wearing a dive watch, I am already thinking He's a lively one They don't live a sedentary life Not in their head anyway They're longing for that fun in the sun In the sea Up the Alps On a snowboard Scooter That person knows that at any moment their life could change. It could get a bit extreme. It might never do, but it could. That's the symbol of a dive watch. That is the sign of a watch enthusiast that has made it. Made what? I don't know, but you've made it. For me, I think that the dive watch is the new dress watch. It's the new field watch. It's the new pilot's watch. This isn't 1912. Life has got hard. Just walking out the front door could put you physically under pressure right from the start. So why the heck would you wear anything else other than a dive watch? What about a G-Shock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now we all know everyone's tastes are different. Everyone's lives are different. You could love a dress watch. You could love a pilot's watch. A field watch is a very good choice because it's almost like a Gada watch. Go anywhere, do anything. It's just that for me, a dive watch just gives that little bit more of a rough edge for what I do on a daily basis. But tell me in the comments below why you love your dive watches and what is your favorite one you own. Obviously my new favorite is this one, the Doxa 300 Sub. I love you, you orange little beauty. <laughs> oh, still rolling. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you want a bit more than Mad Watch Collector, click there and join. Want some merch? Of course you do. Click there in the description a little bit further down. But if I've got you for a few more minutes, why don't you click this one? This is sensational. Probably my best, it is, I think it is my best show. I mean, it's, um. It's recommended to viewers, so I don't know what it is, but whatever I've done, you're gonna love it. <laughs> click it, go on, click it. Click, click it!